Hello. Good morning, everybody. This is Sandeepan from Hexagon Geospatial. So here I'd like to demonstrate on uh, uh, our dynamic GIS solution for mining land acquisition and the cost estimation for reclamation. So for this uh, analysis or study, you need to have all uh, the administrative boundary available. Here we can see the India state boundary map is available here. So I'm doing all this uh, analysis in our hexagon GIS desktop solution, GeoMedia. So we have acquired uh, all the state boundary maps and you can see all the district boundary maps are available. And our study area is uh, the Jharkhand state, uh, the Singhum East area, right? So this is the Singhum East district. So within the Singhum East district, we have a village boundary map also available. So in the village boundary maps, there is a Digia village available. So in the Digia village is our study area. So for doing the land acquisition for the mining areas, uh, first we need to acquire the satellite image. So we have acquired the satellite image available for this area covering almost the whole DG village. Now after acquiring the satellite image, also you uh, need to have uh, georeference this satellite image against all the administrative boundaries and also you need to have uh, the plot boundary maps available collected from the land records departments. So this is the plot boundary maps. This has been uh, uh, the scanned copy. So it has been georeferenced or you can have rectified it, uh, it with a land survey, right? But DGBS uh, land survey, you have rectified all these digitized maps. And this uh, these plot boundary maps are also linked with the ROR informations. In the back end of this, you have linked all these graphics, plot boundary graphics, along with the ROR informations. All things are dynamic in nature. If you change anything in the ROR table, it will be reflected in the each, every, each and every plot boundary maps. Now, this is our study area where we have acquired all the administrative boundaries. Now from the satellite image, the first step is you have to do the land use land cover classifications it has been done so from the satellite image by using the edas imaging software we have done the land use land cover classifications here you can see different land classes available uh, for these uh, mining areas so this is the most of the field is an agricultural area and these are the fellow lands these are the existing mining areas these are the forest patches green patches and all these are the rivers and these are the different water bodies everything has been mapped from the recent high resolution satellite image right now for the land acquisition you need to have one of the lease boundaries and within the lease you are going to acquire the land uh, for the exact uh, actual mining when you are applying for the actual mining you need to have acquire this so this is your exact uh, I mean this area these are the these are different lease area so in our instances you can see here uh, different lease areas and this lease area as you draw the lease areas this is the different details of the lease areas like uh, this lease area is uh, belongs to company Essels now the Essels mining company they are the basically the bauxite source uh, they are doing mining for the bauxite source and this is the open cast mine and this is the request date is in 12 uh, 5 2014 right and once these things you have digitized it acquires all the backhand uh, information from the backhand database like up to this this is the information you have provided so this is the SL mining company to this box side source but here this um, lease intersecting with a total 117 uh, village I'm in the plot boundaries uh, this is the total uh, the individual number of the plots and is it intersecting with the forest no it is not intersecting with the forest 
intersecting uh, with an existing uh, lease no it is not intersecting with the existing lease and this is the detail information right so now this is our study area so now the SL mining company decided to uh, acquire land for actual mining right so these calculations of the cost estimations of the land it requires uh, the actual area of the plots selected and the land use pattern of the plot and you need to have some uh, plot rate right like that any agricultural plots the current rate is 300 rupees per square meter like that you can have a different type of lots are available I mean different type of rates so this rate is also dynamic in nature now I'm going to show you uh, the things now here within this list boundary you can see so this is the area where I will draw a list bound I mean the proposed acquisition area and this is a analysis result where you can see the exact uh, means plots which is need to be acquired and here you can see the cost estimation for acquiring all these plots so I'm just uh, doing that so this is a proposed uh, acquisition so now uh, the ASL mining company that decided that they need to uh, do the mining activity only within this selected uh, polygon area right so they are planned so once you completed your drawing in this GIS software you can see things are dynamic if you click OK it will automatically calculate the what are the plots it need to acquire okay and what will be the total uh, cost that's a 94.8 lakhs rupees need to uh, it's a cost estimation right so these are the things uh, is it has been implemented this is a dynamic query by the geomedia software thank you